Hi, this is Frank Taylor with Nature at Your Door, and this is an episode on scorpions, specifically a species of European scorpion I was shocked to find in the country of Switzerland. My discovery of this scorpion was unintentional, except for the fact that I'm a notorious stone flipper and was actually hoping to find a salamander. The location of my find was just outside of a little lakeside village known as Milano in the Italian-speaking canton of Ticino. This town actually dates back to Roman times as confirmed by the discovery of a 3rd century Roman necropolis within the town limits. The charming little town is typical of Ticino with its native stone homes and buildings. I hope you'll check out my Switzerland playlist if you want to learn more about the culture and natural history of Ticino as well as the Swiss Alps themselves. Here, as you leave the town of Milano, you can walk up an old cobblestone road to a church known as the Madonna del Castelletto. It was built on old castle ruins and was started in 1631. The ancient cobblestone road to the church winds its way up the mountain, passing religious icons on the way, and both sides are lined with the typical Ticino farm and boundary stone walls. I learned later that these ancient stone walls throughout the canton of Ticino seem to be the preferred habitat of two species of scorpions you might find in southern Switzerland. The species I found is most likely to be Aliscorpius italicus, based on the fact that it's a very large size. The other look-alike species that you can find in southern Switzerland is Aliscorpius alpha and is much smaller and seems to prefer walls near forests and shade, requiring a more human environment. This species, Aliscorpius italicus, seems to prefer living in walls closer to towns and in full sun. Both these species live in mountainous areas under rocks, logs, and in damp cellars, but are still most commonly found in these old stone walls. These predatory scorpions will feed on smaller invertebrates and eat anything from crickets and grasshoppers to wood roaches and wood lice. The scorpion is an ambush hunter and will wait for prey to walk by and then it will reach out suddenly and grab and crush its prey with its pinchers that are known as pedipalps. If the prey struggles, it will stab it and sting it with its stinging tail known as the telson. The venom from the sting is a neurotoxin and will paralyze its prey so it can begin to eat it. It's fascinating to note that a scorpion actually does not ingest any solid food. It chews and grinds its prey externally with specialized mouth parts called chelicerae, and it takes in and swallows only fluids or the soluble fraction of the organism it has captured. For scorpions that live in dry areas, this can be their main source of water in their diet. While filming, like any amateur rogue scientist, I took the liberty to gently poke it with a stick and see how it would respond. I, of course, recommend you don't try this at home, and I am reminded that people bitten or stung by wildlife is most often because they are harassing the organism. So you can see the scorpion assumed several different defensive postures. It used its pinchers or pedipalps to threaten me and grab onto the stick. And you can see how it threatened to use its stinging tail or telson and reveal the stinger at its tip. It certainly looked really, really scary. Scorpions have a notorious reputation for being dangerous to humans. So just how venomous is this Swiss scorpion? Apparently, it does not often sting people and is generally non-aggressive. Unless, of course, you poke it with a stick. A sting from this scorpion is not considered dangerous. It's said to be comparable to that of a wasp or a bee sting with temporary pain and swelling that will soon subside. Unless, of course, you have an unusual allergic reaction to the venom, just as some folks are allergic to bee stings. I was surprised and thrilled to find the scary-looking scorpion here in Switzerland, of all places. This is probably the last place I would ever imagine to encounter a scorpion. Nature never ceases to amaze, and it's always fascinating to discover new things that are, well, just outside your door. Hey, if you like what I do on this channel, please subscribe, give me a like, and leave me a comment. I always love hearing from my viewers. And remember, I cover all things nature frogs, toads, snakes, turtles, myriapoda, insects, trees, wildflowers, and fungi. I cover all the things you might encounter just outside your door. Thanks again for watching this episode of 
nature at your door. 